My girlfriend and I have been coming to bingo for 40 years together. I-19, I-19. I look forward to Wednesdays and Fridays because the staff here is wonderful. They're very friendly. Well, in winning money. Bingo on 069, where's that bingo? There it is, in the purple section on the aisle. is flamingo Spanish style so we try to create and show off the dance of the of the music there is a part of the routine for example where we have girls forming like two triangles and it opens up and it looks like the big skirts like uh, the flamingo dancing and I just love the Spanish attitude and style of music it just gives me energy and like passion and I want to show that in the routine Three, four, five, They have a cool routine. It's kind of different. They're famous nerds. Um, I like their music. It's kind of like fun. Since West Zone, we've been refining both of our major programs, our team and our combo. So now like our, our team is kind of in more of the, the detail um, phase. Hopefully would have liked to do that a little bit um, earlier. And you know, the meet is we leave next week but it's never too late to get better. Ava, come up strong, everyone. We've been adding so many hours and training really hard. And I would say we're at a pretty good point knowing that Nationals is in a week. But we still have a lot of work to do, running our routines a lot and really um, getting used to our new choreography because we revamped our routines and we hope to have better results at nationals. Слышишь, Джек тоже кушает одновременно. I almost never tell my friends about all the things we have to do as parents because they think it's absolutely not normal. Right. And um, they'll say, why? Why would you do all of this? So I just quietly do it and never say how many things we have to do. Like volunteering hours. When people hear that she has to be at practice at 7.45 on Sunday, right, it raises a lot of questions. But also the friends, they wonder why we do it, but at the same time they chip in and they help out. Like I remember one time when um, there were two of them and I had to do something like 30 volunteer hours in one weekend. And it was, I didn't know how I'd do it because it was bingo, there was uh, volunteering for my son's swim team and then for Yara's swim show. And then all of the friends in the community, they said they took a shift for me. And it was so neat because everybody, somebody did one show, somebody went to the swim meet and I had to do bingo, so. Yeah, but that was very special, I still remember it. Both of our clubs, us and Santa Clara, are unique because 
we have a lot of resources and we're able to have a lot of resources because of bingo. There's a good bingo. Very none and seen on the Kodak game close with one winner. Pay that lucky winner $250. Aquamaids is supported through the bingo dollars and that is totally manned by volunteers that are parents of our swimmers. So our swimmers generally start at age six or seven. And so a parent who is volunteering for bingo isn't doing that once a week for one year. They're doing that for 10 years or more because a good synchronized swimmer is a commitment by the entire family. G50, G50. Our bingo business has grown from uh, a few million dollars to over $10 million in gross receipts a year. Without that, we wouldn't be able to do the work we do. I-17. I-17. Parent commitment to the Aquanuts involves bingo. We have different levels of commitment starting from uh, Peanuts, the youngest I swimmers, and they're usually beginning families, so they'll usually do maybe one shift per quarter. I'm a junior parent, so I do nine shifts. 54. Six. So a shift uh, could start anywhere from like five o'clock and go until we're finished, maybe around 10.30, and then some other shifts like the manager and the treasurer work until all the money's counted and everything's closed out, and that usually goes to about, actually around midnight, we're out of here. When she was little, I would work full eight hours at work and I would go to bingo. And I remember one day I worked that and at 10 o'clock I thought, oh, okay, that's, you know, I can go home now. And then the manager says, let's just sell one more game. And I started crying because I couldn't take it. It was just so difficult to be thinking about selling one more game at 11 o'clock after 16 hour day work day. And after that, I decided I'm not gonna think anymore about how difficult it is, I'm just gonna do it. You ready, Joe? 1325 flash. Oh, thank you so much. All right, all right. Good. Glad to have this. Thanks, Andy. 1325. If we didn't have this bingo business, probably most of our membership wouldn't be able to afford to be members because it offsets a lot of the expenses for membership. Same cereal. The biggest expenses being our, our coaching staff. Travel expense is another huge expense. Suits are another big expense. They could be up to about $300 a suit. We're getting up to $100,000 per month. So, you know, do the math on that times 12 months. If we keep this trend going, we'll be, you know, well over a million dollars. Another possible bingo at the end of row four. This morning I had practice and I had to leave early and then rushed to my hair appointment to get ready for prom. The coaches, they seem to let everyone out when it's their prom day. They let everyone out early. They won't deny anyone prom. Anything else, they're like not very willing to let people skip practice or leave early. So I miss a lot of like social events and I don't really hang out with my friends that much. Next year, you're getting paid for this? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> That's funny. Do you like a movie star? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it when all the attention is on me. I know you don't. <laughs> okay, um, foundation's done.
today, I was on task, like I was the task manager. So, uh, you know, it's all about making sure that she's ready to go and everything's all set up so that it all, so we can pull this thing off. And I think we did it. I think she looked happy as she headed out of here. So that's great because this is her junior prom. This is, this is an event that she'll always, <laughs> sorry, it's, it's a really, sorry. Yeah, you can stop one. if you want, but. I just want it to be really special for her because she doesn't get, um, she doesn't get many opportunities to just be with her friends and be spontaneous and do normal things. for the competition. They're really awesome. Uh, they just fixed all the straps, so we're gonna try them on today with walk-on and everything, dive in, see if they fit, and then we can compete in there. So <laughs> grab your own suit, the names are in here, so maybe you guys can help me go around. Emily. Ray. Ray. I got... Ooh. Okay. RL. Okay. RL. Okay, let's get quickly changed, like 30 seconds, and then we'll try to walk on. <laughs> Being so close to nationals is exciting because all of our hard work is going to pay off, and like we're going to get our like to show our team to the whole nation. This is it. This is the end of the season, and like everything you've done has led up to this. This is a really important meet for our club. We get the chance to compete for everyone in the country. It's really fulfilling that we get to swim our hearts out for everyone. <laughs> the biggest event of the year is the national championships in Tucson, Arizona. All the other clubs always look to Walnut Creek and Santa Clara to produce the best product. Knowing that was our final days together, that's when all the emotions just started to flood in. What, what happened? Someone's passing. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> 